Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning. And today is a great day because it's Friday and because we're hopefully going to wrap up this interior here that we've been working on the last couple days. So we've got most of the hard work done. I've still got to uh, trim out all of the windows and doors and we've got to get flashing and trim on our overhead door. So that's really the only detail work that we've got left but we're gonna start putting up some of that galvanized wall steel. I did make a mistake on that, and I'll share that with you. So you see this galvanized steel here? Got that to go up here on the wall, this section right there. And what I did was when I calculated the dimension or the height of this, I calculated the entire dimension from the base to the top, and I did not take out my wainscot. So these are all roughly three foot long and some change because I got the dimension of my trims and whatnot. So we just went around and we double checked the height we measured from our trim to our ceiling trim here. And we're gonna go ahead and shear all those down. We could use the nibbler and cut them, but that is super painfully slow compared to the Swenson shear. And this is kind of a godsend when Kyle makes mistakes on ordering, which it's happened probably three times now. We'll go ahead and set ourselves up a little jig so we can just put the sheet right down. And this thing acts like a giant scissor. And the good thing about it is it makes a really nice clean cut, uh, just like factory, only with a lot of manual effort. Let's get an edge mark, Greg, okay? The rib is just kind of superfluous, so we don't really, you know, have an exact. Just go ahead and hook me right on the, uh, right on the edge. And what were you trying to do, 30 quarters? 125 All right, 125, three quarters. That's my edge, Greg. You need to come this way if this is a square thing. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, yeah man. Like yeah, man. Right there? Let's go ahead and cut one and check it. Dude, good thing Can we I didn't. Do it? I don't. How do I do it? Uh, do I just push down yeah. really fast? Yeah, real fast. Do I finish hard? Don't, don't, don't move left or right. You just want to go straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Okay, let's, uh, okay. Check that let's check thing. that. So that does a really nice job. It's really quick. It does require physical exertion, but it'll make quick work of fixing Kyle's mistake. You good? I still think somebody needs to hold it, probably. I think it's someone held it. Keep it in place. Watch your fingers. Finger clear. Fingers clear? Fingers clear. Yeah, that was a lot cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably golden, dude. Throw it up there. Let's see what happens. You know, if you just make a nice tight bend, you only have to snip the edges um, of the metal. You can get it to you can get it to snap pretty cleanly uh, with some quick back and forth. You just got to try to make it as tight of a bend as possible. So I just kind of really grip it and just give it a nice little thumb. I just stick my thumb right on the bend and just really bend it over as tight as possible. Greg, did you know this? Check this out. Martinez Square, the mini. Yeah. It's got a quarter inch reveal. So let's say when you're doing your quarter inch window reveals. Hey. Let's go. Right. Pretty killer, huh? Or you've obviously got just this. You can put your scribe up against here and this is also a quarter. I like to do that so that I can cut my first trim, get it exactly where I want it. Then I mark it. Instead of, yeah, pulling out a tape measure and going where I think I want it. I, I like that was more consistent and accurate. Yeah, it definitely is. So right behind me, that might look a little, a little weird. Really all we're after is, I just wanted to put some support in between that 
bay there because we're going to run flat stock all the way up that door above that door and that's so that that door uh, when it opens we don't have those ribs to contend with we want it to be a nice smooth transition and yes way up top in the middle we could do some rib material and that would look okay but I'm not a big fan of it. I think some nice flat stock above the door is gonna be good. And the future plan is to build a mezzanine up above this. So we're actually going to have to build like a pocket for the door to go up through the mezzanine. It's gonna come up the wall and it will slightly turn out, uh, but that'll be at a later date probably. Uh, for now, we just wanted some solid blocking up there so our flat stock doesn't have as, or has as few waves as possible. All right, let's just go ahead, run it out. So this is, we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half, Zach. Ah, so clean. All right, so cut edge up just like that. Take her off. Nice job. Okay, go your way, Greg. A little bit. Yep. Okay, hold that. All right, we kind of like that. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's gonna have some can to it, obviously, you know. Freaking. Uh, Sure. That actually turned out, that turned out pretty decent, really. Not bad. Not bad. All right, my guy. Let's go. Pull it tight as you can. Pull. Tight as you can. All right, all right. That's past my two by six, how about you? Okay, that's good then, right there, okay. I'll grab the laser. I'm gonna stay off just about. Give me a measurement to it. Yeah, I'm like four and three eighths. I like it. Hey Greg, what do we got here, uh, this corner detail? Something that a lot of people always ask. Uh, D2 or J2? Well, I think in general, and it's kind of hard to probably show at this point, but um, we've got a, a girt that comes in here. Why don't you go ahead and explain it, Greg? I'm gonna put you on the spot. Okay. Just tell them how we did this inside corner. Okay. Um, the whole process? Well, yeah. Okay, so we ran this sidewall steel into this corner. Well, then... let's start first with the framing though. We've got. We got our end wall framing. I thought you talked about the framing. Uh, I don't remember. Well, anyways, so we got a corner board going up that's the width of these end wall posts. So that way these girts run through that and get tacked to that. And then these guys will run, our side wall will run right into there. Okay. And then it'll, it'll, line, it'll line up with that corner board so you know it's money. And then we shot our base trim on with the laser. And I'm pretty sure Kyle, showed you that corner bend down there. I'm sure you've got it somewhere. Right, but I think most importantly, but, like what we're doing here with our ribs and the layout, like you were saying. 
Okay. So what we're doing right now with the ribs is we're lining them up with the outside. So that way if he wants to drill a hole through here, it's right through the flat here and right through the flat outside. And so we went back, I think it was like, what, six inches or something like that? Yeah, it's about six inches. Something like that. And then what we're going to do now is, uh, we're talking about the corner trim? Or the well, I think, I think just showcasing that, you know, we're going to run that side steel first. Then we're going to cover, because people always want to know what our side, our interior corner detail looks like. And I was just going to have you talk through that. But I think maybe what's best is if we go ahead and do this and then come back and then kind of showcase yeah. it. But knowing that we had to do the side steel first. Well, we didn't have to. It's what we chose to do. Well, I think it made it easier. I think we, we, did, we did the sidewall steel. Like we had, did it first because we wanted this J trim, something solid to go up against. And normally we would run it with just three foot off the corner or three foot one because you got this leg. And so there's a rib in this corner, which we would then would tuck our J up to, which would give it something solid to sit on. But since we're lining up these ribs with the outside steel, we had to cut off this little bit and slide it over. And so this is this. See right here, we got like a, like a six inch flat. A lot of times you have to block in between there because it's such a big flat area. It gets wavy. That it waves, and you'll have a huge like cuff in, the, in between each of your your girts. But with it being this close to the rib over here, you won't have that. It's got something solid to go up against. And then so right. push our J tight up against that. Right. So this this time it just worked out for us it, to do it this way. But yeah. next time, next. and typically we run our end wall first. That way everything matches up there with our ceiling ribs. And usually we start our ceiling just with a full panel. So what Greg was saying is we would have a rib right there starting. But this time we lined everything up with the exterior because of the condition that we were in, which was a 40 wide, long story short, everything changed and we ran our sidewall first. Just know that we don't like to use inside corner trim, right, Greg? That's right. Uh, we just think this is much cleaner. Cleaner, so, smaller yeah. lines. Run one side, tuck a piece of J channel, and then you can run your other side the other way. So Greg is working this, this way to our door can see over here this is all tacked up it still needs to be screwed off which is kind of why it has a bunch of wave to it uh, obviously that monster flat area of steel there above the door it's gonna have a little bit of oil can but once the door is installed and everything it's gonna look great so we're gonna try to bust out this wall here right now after we get things set up Greg's gonna finish this wall and we should be left with just this front area and if time permits today we'll get that done as well I always love showcasing how the updraft shows that the vacuum in the ridge vents are like working. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. Thing is just sucking 
right up into the vacuum of the uh, attic. All right, we got a lot done today. The snow started coming in pretty strong and we're gonna call it a day just a little bit early, but I think we had a pretty good day. We got almost all of the wall steel up. There's just a couple missing pieces and some corners. Thanks for hanging around. We'll do all the finishing touches, show you guys how this thing turned out. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any super awesome future videos. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next video. What do you think, dude? What do I think? I don't think. But if I were to think, I think this would turn out pretty good. You heard it first, guys. Greg Haas. He likes how this is turning out. It is super dark in here because there's no lights, there's no concrete. But that black ceiling is super sexy along with that galvanized wall tin. Oh, watch this camera trick, guys. Oh my God, it's so bright in here. That black doesn't change anything. It's crazy how bright it is.